Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how can we connect different applications with Pabli Connect by using API by Pabli. Now, API by Pabli is a feature by Pabli which allows us to connect with the applications which does not have any kind of native integration with Pabli Connect. So here in this video, we are going to learn step by step how can we use API module in Pabli Connect and with the help of which how can we use the applications in our automation workflows which does not have any kind of native integration with Pabli Connect. Okay, so let's start learning step by step. So here I have already created a workflow in Pabli Connect and I have connected Google Sheets in my trigger event. Let's suppose I have prepared a Google Sheets with the data of my customers and I want to send the details of this customer to any other applications automatically with the help of Pabli Connect. Let's say here I'm going to connect MailerLite. Let's suppose MailerLite does not have any kind of native integration with Pabli Connect and I want to connect MailerLite with Pabli Connect with the help of API by Pabli. So for that, first of all, I have connected this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect and I've captured the response of Google Sheet here in Pabli Connect, okay? So here I have received all the details of the customer first name, last name, email, and the contact number. And now I want to send the data of this customer towards MailerLite with the help of API by Pabli. Here, I'm just taking the example of MailerLite in order to show you how the integration is made with the help of API by Pabli. You can connect any other application in the same manner, which does not have any kind of native integration with Pabli Connect with the help of API by Pabli. Okay, now in order to send the data, first of all, we will select our action application as API by Pabli. Okay, and now we have to select our action event. So let's select execute API request. We will click on connect and because this is an inbuilt feature of Pabli Connect, so it is already connected. Okay, now as we have clicked on connect here, we have to select the action event method. So we can find there are six action events, get, post, put, patch, delete and custom request. So we can select any of the action event we want. In case if you want to get the data inside Pabli Connect from any other application, you have to use get request. If you want to send the data from Pabli Connect to any other application, you have to use post request. And in the same manner, there are multiple requests over here. Okay, so here because I want to share the data which I have received from Google Sheets towards MailerLite in the form of a new subscriber, I am going to use post over here. Okay, so let's select action event method as post. And now before moving further, we have to go towards the API documentation of MailerLite. So this is the API documentation of MailerLite because I'm using MailerLite Classic. So here I'm using the API reference of MailerLite Classic. In the same manner, whatever application you want to connect, you have to go towards the API documentation of that same application. Now here we can find there are multiple options given over here. Campaign status, get, campaigns, post. In the subscriber section also, we can find multiple actions so here because i want to create a new subscriber in mailer light here i'm going to use the subscriber as post okay so we will select subscriber post and the request type is post over here and we can find here are all the steps given in order to create a new subscriber in mailer light with the help of api by pabli Okay, now first of all, in the action event method, we have already selected the post. The next thing it is asking is, is the API endpoint URL with the help of which URL we want to connect. So here we can find that for the post request, the URL is given over here as this. Let's just copy it and we will paste it over here in this field. Done. The next thing it is asking us is the payload type. So here are multiple options of the payload type. We will check our API docs and it is given that the payload type must be application JSON. So here what we are going to do, we will select JSON over here, done. The next is authentication. So now we have to enter the authentication type. Does any kind of authentication require for connecting MailerLite with Pabli Connect or not? Okay, so here we have three options. Some kind of application requires basic auth. In basic auth, we just have to provide the details in key and value format. Basically the login credentials of the application. The next is bearer token. In authentication type bearer token, we have to provide the token or the API key in this field. Okay. And while some application does not require any kind of authentication. So let's go and check on our API documentation. And here we can find that in authorization, it is given that you have to use your API key of MailerLite account. So what we are going to do, we will simply select no auth over here. And now it is given that we have to paste the API key in the header section. So we will simply select header over here, API key. Okay. 
So we will simply copy it x mailer light API key as our header. And in the value of this, we have to enter the API key from our mailer light account. Now from here, we are going to find our API key. For finding our API key, we have to go on the application which we are using. Here I'm using mailer light. So I will directly move towards mailer light dashboard. And then we have to find the API key from our account. Okay. So in mailer light, we can find the API key from the profile section. Under profile section, we have to go towards integrations. And here we can find our developer API key is given. So we'll click on use and we will copy it. Okay, so after copying the API key, we will paste it over here, done. So here our authorization is completed. Now the next thing which it is asking is the parameters. So again, we will go towards our API docs and here we can find that body parameters are given. So in body parameters, we can use following fields, name, email, etc. So what I want, I want to use email because I want to create a new subscriber with the help of email in MailerLite. So here I'm going to click on set parameters and in the header, I'm going to enter email. So you have have to keep in mind that whatever parameters are given in your API doc, you have to write them in the exact format. So the email is given like this. I have entered it in the exact format. And now in the value of the email, we will simply enter the email of the customer through which we want to create the subscriber. We have received the email of the customer from our earlier response that is from Google Sheets response. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to map the same data over here. Now, what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. So we can simply select the data from our previous step like this and it will be mapped automatically. So when we map the data, we make it dynamic. That means now whenever a new response will be captured from Google Sheets in Pabli Connect, automatically this email is going to be replaced with a new email of a new customer. But in case if you will enter it manually, let's say here we have entered the API key manually. So it has become static now and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, wherever in the workflow we want that data should get replaced automatically. There we map it from our previous step. And when we want that data should remain same with each and every response, there we type it manually. And that is called as static mapping. We can also increase the label from this plus sign. So I will add one more label over here. And now I want to add one more parameter over here that is type. So I will simply copy this type from here and I will paste it over here in label. And now we can enter following types. It is given that available values for type are unsubscribed, active or unconfirmed. So we can use one of the three types. So I am going to use active. So I will simply copy active and paste it over here. So the value of the parameter type is active. So I want to keep the status of the subscriber as active. Okay. Now after entering all the details, we can simply click on save and send test request. And after that, we will check whether the response is received towards mailer light. So basically we will check that with the help of API by Pabli, are we able to create a subscriber in mailer light or not? So let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response along with the response. We have also received the ID of the subscriber and here the type of the subscriber is active. So let's go towards MailerLite and we will check whether a new subscriber with the same email is added there or not. So we will go towards subscriber section. And yes, we can find that a new subscriber is automatically added over here with the same email dummy850 at the rate pablitudes.com. Let me open it and show you. So it is given that the subscriber is sent via API. That means, yes, we have successfully sent the data towards MailerLite with the help of API by Pabli. And in this way, we can connect any application in the same manner and we can send the data from one application to another application with the help of API by Pabli. And this is for the applications which does not have any kind of native integration with Pabli Connect. Now, in the same manner, with the help of API by Pabli, we can also receive the details from any other application towards Pabli Connect. For that, we will have to select the action event as get. And here with the help of get, we are going to get the data from another application towards Pabli Connect. Okay. Now here after selecting the action event method as get, we are going to get the details of the subscribers which we have in our MailerLite account in Pabli Connect. So here again, we will go towards the API docs. And in order to get the subscribers, we will select this get subscriber option. And here it is given get account subscriber. Now the request type is get and this is the URL which we have to use. So first of all, let us copy this and we will paste it over here in the endpoint URL field. Done. Now the next is authentication. So again, we will check the authentication is the API key. Now here also the authentication will be no auth only and in the header, we have to use the API key for get request also of the application which we are using. Okay. Now in the set parameters, let's go and check. So it is given that response body parameters are given over here. So let's go and check. 
so we can use any of the body parameters id email name etc so i want to use email over here i want to receive the details of the subscriber with the help of email so here i am going to keep the body parameters as email only now let's click on save and send test request and check whether we have received the response or not and yes, here we can find that we have received the response and we can find that here in the response, we have received the details of all the subscribers, which we have in our MailerLite account. Okay. So in the same manner, we can use API by Pabli to get the details from any other application towards Pabli Connect. And further, we can use the same details of the subscribers in our automation workflows, like for creating a record in Google Sheets or for sending the same subscriber towards any other CRM application or etc. So we have received the response in array format. We can also change it by using iterator by Pabli into key and value pairs. So in this video, we have learned that how can we use API by Pabli in Pabli Connect in order to connect applications which does not have any kind of native integration with Pabli Connect and with the help of this how can we send the data from one application to another application and even we can get the data from one application towards Pabli Connect to use it further in our workflows. In the same manner by referring towards the API documentations of the applications which we want to connect we can use any of the action event method get post put patch delete or even custom request and I have taken the example of MailerLite just in order to show you how the integration is made you can connect any other application in the same manner through API by Pabli. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.